So the Asuba, this is a lot more of a, like a precision instrument. You don't do any of this up and down chopping. You'll absolutely devastate the edge. Specialized in its use, you're only supposed to use it in a type of cut like this. You can see how gentle I'm being. Doing any up and down cutting like this will actually screw up the edge. We'll put some chips and rolls and stuff like that in there because the geometry is insanely thin. So you can go backwards like this, you can go forwards like this, but going up and down, hmm, that's a bummer. Now by contrast, this is a more European style stainless chef knife, very thick, very soft. And when you're using this guy, you're supposed to keep the tip on the board and kind of come at it with a rocking type cut like this. Now you can come at it with an up and down chop like that. The problem is though is that the steel is so soft that what happens is that edge rolls over very quickly. You can't go lower in geometry either because it's too soft for that. It's just trying to be really durable and very stainless but it's very soft. It rolls over in use so you're supposed to use it on the cutting board up and down chopping. You can hear it kind of ka-chunk when it moves through so mm, not as ideal for that kind of stuff. But very low maintenance knife, just the performance is not very great. Now this is a Japanese Gyoto and it's kind of fun because it's a like a hybrid. It's like in between kind of your more traditional Japanese stuff and your Western type chef knife. And what's fun about it is that while you could still use it like a European chef knife, it has really thin geometry on it, nice hardness on the steel, so that you could also in this rapid up and down motion if you prefer to use your knife like that which is pretty cool but thinner harder can support lower geometry so it'll have higher performance uh, than you'll find with the European stuff but it's not as delicate as the single bevel stuff so I find if you got a gyoto and you're cutting a mushroom you can make short work of it I like that your more European style I just feel it's a little bit slower some people will be more familiar with that technique though traditional Japanese Asuba, we have to come at it very precise, very controlled. Not as quick. I mean, we can definitely try to go quicker. But the problem is, is if you start banging this on the cutting board, even a nice cutting board, you'll damage the really delicate geometry.